So hello all and welcome back. Um, an absolutely marvellous day today um, on my local patch around Mullion. And today I'm after um, Peregrine Falcon today. Uh, one of my, definitely in my top five birds. Um, I haven't got a license for, for Peregrine Falcon this year, um, but the, the chicks have now actually fledged and I'm away from the nest site, but they patrol this area here and the parents do um, quite, you know, quite vigorously really. Um, so I'm well back, um, hoping to get some sights of the peregrine today. So this is currently my view for today, which I actually think is a pretty nice view. So the island over there is Mullion Island and that goes around to Mullion Cove. And there is the headland there that goes around to the Lizard Peninsula. So an absolutely fantastic location. Um, just beautiful to be here to be honest it's really really warm there's quite a wicked um, uh, south south westerly uh, breeze kicking through but uh, I'm quite sheltered here uh, and I've seen the peregrine patrolling over the island and around the cliffs so I've kind of set up here well away from uh, the nest site and hopefully there's a few favoured perches that um, are in in uh, in sight of the 600 there so hopefully I'll be able to get a couple shots of them um, sitting on the uh, the rock there just standing themselves uh, maybe feeding and hopefully i'll get some signs of the the youngsters fingers crossed so here we have some typical peregrine kill areas um as you can see there it's a bit of a bone of uh of some sort of crow um all the way around the rocks here there's uh when i get too close because it's kind of a sheer drop over there but all around here there's obviously kill areas. Um, superb to see. Um, there's a fresh one there, just there. So this is a favoured area here for the peregrine. And if you can you can hear that faintly there the peregrines just going over the top oh it's fantastic sound that's a fantastic sound so i've just had a, an amazing um encounter with the peregrines that literally came right past me here right past to the uh, the nest site with some food um, and now they're sitting quite a distance um, away from me just on the rock face um, can hear the chicks from here making quite a racket um, I've got the 600 there at the moment doing a bit of video um, uh, of the peregrines both uh, male and female sitting on the the rock there so quite distance though unfortunately but you know that's the, that's the nature of the beast I as I said before I can't get too close um, it's quite nice to observe at a distance and hopefully I might be able to get some shots of them coming past uh, again so fast you know swinging that around is a bit of a nightmare so I've got the 100 to 400 there which which is great so I'm going to get a, hopefully get a few a few tighter shots uh, um, and maybe a little bit easier with the 100 to 400 but yeah fantastic to see them coming in with food um, awesome I just wish I could show you but uh, yeah fingers crossed we'll um, we may get some results but uh, certainly to sit here and, and watch them is, you know, magnificent, absolutely superb. So I have to apologize for the um, little bit of wind noise at the moment. Uh, I've got a uh, new uh, Rode microphone. Uh, it's called a uh, Rode Go and uh, it's a clip on lapel mic. Uh, and I've got I've got the actual mic, but I haven't got the uh, housing for the the GoPro uh, 8 Black. Unfortunately, they're out of stock, so I'm kind of waiting for that. So I'm just going to have to bear with it for, um, for the moment. But the the new microphone should make a, an absolute game changer. Really, it's got a mic muffler and stuff on it, lapel on there, connects to my GoPro, and uh, yeah, should be good in all conditions. So uh, fingers crossed, I'll get that for the next vlog. Uh, all being well. So it's all pretty quiet at the moment. Um, just enjoying relaxing in the sun against the cliff. Um, today, 
as always got my Canon 1DX and got the 600 and I've also got Canon 5DSR and 100-400 at uh, 1.3 crop on there on the sensor for the camera um, just to get any shots of the possible peregrines or any birds of prey or any birds really just coming past certainly a nice um, rock face is behind me with a nice bit of sky there so you know it uh, makes for a nice shot so fingers crossed so this 1dx i've had now for probably i think near five years it's been an absolutely beauty really i've never had a camera upgrade like it it's been so good so reliable um, and i've absolutely loved it but unfortunately come thursday and today's monday um, it's going and trading in for uh, a new camera I'm going to go for the Canon 1DX Mark II, um, which is uh, seven years newer. Uh, there's a lot more functions on it um, and a lot better video as well. This can only do uh, 1080p at 25, so quite limiting, especially for slow motion stuff. Um, and the new camera can do 1080p at uh, 120 and it could do 4K at 60. So, you know, it's uh, for the video side with the longer lens, it's, it's, it's you know, really needed now um, with a host of other features as well. Um, extra two frames a second, but I don't really need that. But it's better in low light. Uh, it's got a better dynamic range, uh, better battery life. Uh, I also get a warranty with it. So there's loads of things um, that are plus points, but I'll be really sad to see see it go really um, it's only done 40,000 shutter actuations it's it's rated for 400,000 um, but you know someone else will get a hold of it it's in great nick and hopefully it'll do them as well as it did me but uh, I'll be I'll be sad to see it go um, it's been absolutely superb really has but uh, anyway back to it still all quiet on the peregrine front there's a lot of seabirds coming past blackback um, fulmer but uh, the peregrines a bit quiet at the moment, so they're probably just chilling out somewhere on a rock face. And uh, hopefully they'll be by a bit later on. So as locations go, this is um, this is pretty lovely. Um, so the Aran Inn is um, it's been home to me all my life. Um, it's a beautiful part of the coast in Cornwall, uh, and it's somewhere I don't really get that often, really. Um, but it's it's certainly lovely to be back here um, filming some coastal stuff. Really, it's. Uh, you forget sometimes how actually gorgeous it is but uh, sitting here watching the sea and the sea air makes you extremely tired but uh, and especially when it's gone quite quiet so we're uh, just gonna have a bit of fruit cup of tea and chill out for a bit and hopefully when this light's a little less harsh and the evening light comes in might be in some luck and uh, have some nice views and shots of peregrine so just decided to uh move location just getting my breath back i'm sure in my past life i might have been related to a mountain goat not visually of course but that was quite a, quite a steep cliff to come up um so i've decided to move the light swung around a bit and uh i think i've just been observing them for about three hours and uh i found a rock they seem to like to perch on so Gonna set up at distance, again away from the nest site, and hope that I can get some shots of them together, just as the sun comes down. All being well. So this position is absolutely superb. Um, I can't take the. Uh, the hide off due to the fact that the peregrines are back every few minutes just to land on this uh, rock so it's been getting some great views um, oh, it's absolutely superb it really is Sorry about the uh, close proximity view here, but I've got a massive rock right behind my head. Um, but yeah, just got some great shots of the peregrine. Um, it's one just here, just about to see. It's very difficult, I know. Um, zoom in slightly in there. And there we go, 100%. Beautiful shot of the peregrine there. 
absolutely lovely. It's a bit of a smack bang in the middle, but uh, yeah, managed to get some video too, which is great. Fingers crossed we get some more. It's always good to spot, um, obviously along the cliffs, you're gonna get a lot of bird poo on a lot of rocks, but uh, generally you can tell a peregrine spot. It's quite high up, gets good visual all round, so you've got 360 degree coverage, um, just so they can keep an eye on any uh, potential threats coming their way. Uh, and then, yeah, just literally any sort of kills and stuff around the area. And I just watched it from distance, saw it landed on that uh, particular spot, and then got myself into a good position and uh, you know, got the rewards. And this is my first first crack at the whip, really, with the Peregrine. So I'm, I mean, I'm really, really chuffed, uh, chuffed with it, really. Um, you know, more to come. Um, I've got a heck of a bit of side lighting coming right in at me over the sea, uh, and I'm on quite, quite a, uh, a high cliff, as you can see here. Um, so a bit of a precarious position. So just got to be a little bit careful. Um, but uh, no, all in all, really pleased so far. Fingers crossed, we might get some nice. Uh, you know, some sunset shots maybe, because the sun's gonna be in a perfect position on the rock. Because at the moment it's still quite harsh, but uh, let's hope we'll uh, get a few more images before the, uh, before the day's out. So approaching the last sort of half hour now, um, the sun's setting, so um, I'm hoping to get the, uh, the programs to come back in um, once they've obviously done the, the last day's feed for the young. Hopefully they'll just sit and perch on the, their favoured rock and I'll get a few uh, nice shots. <laughs> All being well. But uh, if not, it's been a, a tremendous day really, to be honest. You know, just get out on the cliffs, just to see them really displaying, um, bringing in prey, you know, dramatic, beautiful coastline, absolutely lovely. Um, and all the sort of flora and fauna we're watching, rock pipit, meadow pipit, um, stone chats as well. Um, you know, it's been fantastic really. So uh, yeah. Fingers crossed, last half hour push, and um, maybe we'll get some more in the bag. Well, that concludes day one with the peregrines, and it was absolutely superb. Um, just great to see them, really. Just flying around, doing their thing. You know, you've got four young there that have sort of now fledged, and uh, oh, it's just superb to see, really. Um, weather's been good. Light was a bit harsh, I was hoping for a bit of a better sunset, but uh, didn't really materialise in the end. But it was certainly a really, really enjoyable time. So I should be back here again before the young leave permanently, find their own territories, but they'll be hanging around for a wee while. So all being well, we'll get back here again and have some uh, great views and images, I hope. Well, good morning. Uh, today I've decided to do an early morning session. It's now about quarter to five. So uh, it was supposed to be 
beautiful sunshine this morning on sun up um, but unfortunately it's quite cloudy this morning and it's going to be till about eight o'clock so um, dipped out a little bit with the with the early morning sunrise but still I need to get down there get set up um, the peregrines will already be out hunting so just get in situ and uh, hope for the best Thankfully the uh, sun's decided to turn up now, so uh, it's shining a nice bit of light on the, the rock where the uh, peregrines have been uh, landing and sunning themselves, a um, bit of preening and stuff, so I'm hoping um, they'll be back in shortly after a, after a hunt and after they fed the, uh, fed the young. Uh, the young obviously are fledged but they're sort of hanging around the rocks, um, so I uh, managed to get a couple, a couple shots of, uh, sorry, a gull went right past my ear. Um, so they're feeding them uh, various places around the cliffs um, and uh, managed to get a couple a couple shots of those as well, which has been great. Um, doing a lot of like wing stretching and a bit of, uh, just a bit of exercise in their uh, flight muscles, etc. So yeah, it's been, uh, it's, been, it's been pretty good. So I'm hoping they're all gonna come in, have a little rest shortly and uh, land on that rock uh, and get nicely illuminated because as soon as the sun goes round for another hour and a half, two hours, it's going to be kind of at my lens barrel, so it's going to be pretty, uh, pretty bad for light then. So uh, I'll probably call it a day and then head home. But uh, yeah, fingers crossed. As always, they'll pop back in. It's gone quiet for about half an hour now, um, so I just thought I'd go through um, some of the little extra settings I have, um, sort of custom function wise on the camera. Now I usually go through sort of aperture shutter, ISO and all that sort of stuff, but um, I don't know if many of you out there use um, back button focus um, or just use the shutter button focus or use the star or whatever you have in your camera, camera um, body, but on my Canon I always use back button focus so I always use that with my thumb and I always use my finger for the, uh, for the shutter. And I really find that very useful, especially for um, your composition uh, of, your, of your picture. So with back button, you obviously select which focus point you want, put it onto the, uh, the part of the image that you wanna get the sharpest. So bird species, mammal on the eye. And then without pressing the back button focus again, move your camera to the left, move your camera to the right, up and down, whatever you want, using whatever uh, focus point you desire really, recompose your shot and then take the picture. It's so much easier than going around changing focus points. I mean, some cameras have hundreds of focus points. I've only got 61. So, you know, rather than scrolling through those and then suddenly the moment's gone and the, uh, the subject's uh, disappeared. So yeah, back button focus, not for everyone, but works so well for me. Uh, really, really good. Um, just let us know uh, what you prefer. Well, it was absolutely amazing morning. Uh, got down here about sort of five o'clock, quarter five, and um, got some nice shots for the peregrines this morning, both for the male and female, uh, and the juvenile. And just as I was about to leave, um, I just was coming up the back up the cliff, peeked over the top of the uh, this rock, looked down, and there, right on the water's edge, was a was a adult peregrine feeding on a kill. Uh, I think it was an oyster catcher that I saw it chasing around down below. Um, absolutely superb. I got me a 600 handheld with my bean bag and um, did a bit of video as well. So I hope to be able to show you that. I hope it's come out okay. Sun's really quite bright now. 
but uh, what a way to finish uh, the second session really here with the Peregrines. Um, fantastic. I think the Peregrine knew I was there, didn't want to ruin its meal, kind of stayed my distance. I was quite a way away from it and didn't want to get any closer. I was on a real bad uh, steep part of a cliff um, with a, quite a big drop below. So I uh, just had to be a little bit careful, but yeah, absolutely amazing. Things like that do not always happen, but uh, when they do, my God, it's special. But uh, yeah, amazing. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll leave it there and uh, make my way back uh, to the Land Rover now. And, uh, but uh, yeah, awesome. I really hope you've enjoyed uh, my time with the Peregrines. Um, it's been fantastic. Um, if, you, uh, if you'd like to give us a, a like, share, and uh, you know, a, a maybe a comment if you could please. And you know, if you don't subscribe and you like what you see, um, you know, please click that all important subscribe button and uh, welcome you to the channel. But uh, yeah, fantastic, over the moon, over the moon. Thanks for watching all and I'll see you next time.